with the welcome addition of a trio of Windy City Marauders, Eric Ledford, Patrick Berry, and Brent Holland. After returning to Illinois for a year in 2004, Eric Ledford is back to the scene he impacted from 2001 to 2003, when he won over 300 races and $9 million in purses. The 1999 Rising Star Award winner captured the 2002 Hamiltonian with Chip Chip Hooray. And he also piloted the richest pacing mare of all time, Eternal Cam Nation, to many memorable miles. In 2005, Ledford is back behind another top-level disc staffer in Park Lane Powerful and has the support of his father's strong stable. Selden Ledford's Chevro includes high-priced claimer Whisper Spy and the promising four-year-olds Star of the Beach and JJ's Iron Man. As expected, Patrick Berry didn't know what to expect when he tested the Big M waters at the beginning of the 2005 meet, but since day one, he's fit right in. As a top five driver on the Chicago circuit, Barry admitted it was tough giving up what he had back home, but he felt the last few years had been a turning point for him, and he needed a change. Like his Windy City counterparts, Eric Ledford and Brent Holland, Barry had the chance to drive for a solid, steady client in Rick Dane Jr., and now other trainers have named him on their horses. While Barry has been returning to Chicago for Sundays and Mondays, he has also built up his business at Freehold Raceway and learned the importance of patience and position on the Big M's mile track. Art Betration has given Barry his biggest thrill so far, missing by a nose in the 2004 She's a Great Lady final and recently winning a division of the Cape and Cutter series. Art Betration is uh, full out there to take the lead and on the outside it's Burning Point and those two will tussle in deep stretch. Art Betration on the inside has more. Burning Point on the outside had a perfect cover trip and is still coming on. Art Betration, Burning Point final surge. Art Betration and Burning Point in a photo finish. It didn't take Brent Holland very long to get a feel for the Big M winner's circle. In fact, on the first two weekends of the meet, the 33-year-old Ohio native pulled off back-to-back -back shockers with legal trouble. 29 to 1 on January 8th and 28 to 1 right back on January 15th. Image of Dawn there, Legal Trouble trying to split horses for Brent Holland and come through as they come down to the finish. Legal Trouble getting up, very tight Legal Trouble squeezes through for the win. Holland was not only looking for a change of scenery, but he was anxious to drive steadily for a quality stable trained by Gary Skurlock and owned by Robert Rehnquist Jr. He had always wanted to compete at the sport's number one track and the highest purse structure in the industry provided ample incentive. Actually, Holland's main concern was to gain some wisdom from the world's best horsemen in case he wanted to make it a full-time move. Like Eric Ledford and Patrick Berry, Holland has also caught on with other trainers. But his big guns go for Skurlock and Rehnquist, like Johnny B. Cool, a 149-4 winner at the Big M. He made it three in a row in the $80,000 Jenna's Beach Boy Invitational. Perfect trip for Johnny B. Cool on the outside, clear and driving at him for Brent Holland and Eaton Roadkill with his big late kick in deep stretch. Sagebrush trying to hang in there. Johnny B. Cool is getting to him. It will be three in a row for Johnny B. Cool. Eric Ledford, Patrick Berry, and Brent Holland. The Windy City Marauders have injected a strong competitive spirit of professionalism into a driving colony that has already set the industry standard.